how to make the large fabric storage basket with handles. We've used ours today to store nappies, but it can be used for lots and lots of different things. Using your template, cut out two in your lining fabrics. Cut two in your outer fabric and add both cell to the back of both pieces. Cut two handles. Making the handles, place your fabric right sides down and then fold in half to form a crease. Open out, take that side up to the crease, that side up to the crease, fold in half, iron, then take it to the machine and top stitch all along there and then all along there. That's one handle finished, now repeat for the other one. Making the lining. Place the two lining fabrics right sides together, line up all the edges, pin the two sides and the bottom. Do not pin the top or the cut out corner sections. Leave a gap along the bottom of the lining fabric for turning later. I've clipped it all the way around the three sides and now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to start there and stop, start there and stop, start there and stop, start there and stop. And I'm using a half inch seam allowance. I've sewn the three sides and now it's time to box the corners. Put your hand inside the corner there and bring the bottom seam up to the side seam. And place a clip. Like that. Once you've clipped it, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to start there and using the same seam allowance, half an inch, so all the way across. Now both corners are boxed, we're going to leave it the wrong way round and put it to one side. Place your two outer fabrics right sides together, line up your edges and clip them together. Then take it to the machine and using the same half inch seam allowance. So from there to there, there to there, and there to there. Once you've sewn the three sides, it's time to box the corners as we did before in the lining. So put your hand inside the box corners, pinch them together, line up the side seams and place a clip either side and then take it to your machine and sew along there as we did before. Once you've boxed the two corners it's time to turn it the right way around. To attach the handles measure four centimeters from the center line and put a mark either side and attach the handles. Repeat for the other side and then take it to the sewing machine and sew close to the edge just to keep it into place. Now the handles are all tacked into place, it's time to place the outer bag inside the lining we made earlier. I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and use a half an inch seam allowance, sew all the way around, joining the lining to the outer bag. I've sewn it all the way around and now I'm going to turn it through the gap that we left at the bottom. Once you've tucked the lining in, remember to salt the gap in the bottom. And then that's your large fabric storage basket with handles finished. 